women say, you say we have to talk, but I talked to my husband, he didn't want to listen. Well, that's because, <laughs> it's because you're complaining about him. And even though you don't mean to sound like you're complaining about him, he'll hear it as criticism. Anytime yeah. you even say to a man, well, you should do this and this and this, I could do that. You know, <laughs> it, can, it can be heard as criticism. So that's why men don't listen. So how to communicate in a way that a man can hear. And of course, if there's something he's doing that's bothering you, first look at the stress, other stresses in your life and still see if what he's doing is bothering you. And then when you do communicate that to him, don't, don't blame him. What you, you know, what women often think the only way to get you to, you're stepping on my foot, you're stepping on my foot, it hurts, you're stepping on my foot. Immediately, he's going to go into an excuse and you're not going to feel hurt. Now, what would be feeling hurt is, oh, I'm so sorry, but He'll go, but I didn't mean to. And, and you know, you, you put your foot there first and that's what happened. And, you know, it's not such a big deal. You shouldn't have been walking barefoot. Whatever it is, he'll have some response because men have to be right. Now, I do say to men in communication, don't be right. Do the right thing. Don't be mm -hmm. right. Do the right thing. And suddenly her estrogen goes up and she goes, you know, he even steps on my foot and I love him. That's what you want. OK. And when the woman when the when the woman does want you to stop stepping on her foot. You basically, instead of saying, you stepped on my foot again, try this when he steps on your foot. Honey, next time, would you not step on my foot? Done. Inform him. That's what communication is. It's information. And the louder you make your information, the more he'll forget it. If you, you even say, you know, it's not a really big deal, but it hurts when you step on my foot. Would you not do it? That's, that's another version, which is tone it down when you have a request, which is, honey, would you remember to do this? It feels so good when you do. It's not really that big a deal, but it does feel good. Boom. That lands in a man. He has no resistance to that. He, he just takes it in. These are such powerful hacks. It's just one little tweak in what, what you say. Instead of like, don't step on my foot. It's like, honey, next time, would you not step on my foot? <laughs> it's not such a big deal. Anytime you see his, the animal part of our brain, like the same part that just wants pleasure for sex, the animal part of the brain thinks that if I am amplify my emotional response, I'll have a bigger response out there. Okay, so like a gorilla, who, 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 gets a big, see, he's manipulating mm -hmm. you, or the person who's crying, you don't want to hurt them, you know, next time you're going to be more sensitive to them. Uh, I'm so sorry. You know, you get an apology from somebody. Uh, I'm afraid. I'm so scared. Okay, I'll protect you. Get people protecting you. Feeling guilty. I feel so bad. People will trust you more. So this is the primitive part of the brain. If we use those emotions to change the outer world, to solve our problems, then those emotions, those reactivity gets stronger and stronger and you find yourself overreacting all the time. You don't yep. want to use negative emotions to change somebody, but you can use negative emotions because they're there to share with your partner if they can hear it without feeling blamed. So here's the key. If you want your husband to listen to you, ladies, there's another biohack. It's another signal. Okay, men, when they go hunting for thousands of years, you can't talk. We're quiet. We signal each other. So this, oh, I'm pulling this is like a baseball signal. But no, the, 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 another signal for that one is if you do this, this means I need to talk for 10 minutes. Would you ask me what's going on? Mm. Simply that, hand signal. Just, and it won't be more than 10 minutes. You know, a lot of times if a woman says, you know, we really need to talk, <laughs> men's blood pressure goes up already. <laughs> His stress yeah. levels are going up, his ability to listen. But if you go like this as a signal, uh, then what can happen is he'll say, well, what's going on? And then she so starts talking. And your job at that point, if you get the signal, it's only going to be 10 minutes. Ideally, it's not going to be about you. 